rectangle ABCD is cut into four smaller rectangles, as shown in the figure. The four smaller rectangles have the properties. A. The perimeter of three of them are 11, 16, and 19. B. The perimeter of the fourth is neither the biggest nor the smallest of the four. What is the perimeter of the original rectangle ABCD? We know that the perimeter of a rectangle is twice the sum of its length and width. Let's look at the smallest of the four rectangles. Its perimeter is 11, and we also notice that the top and the left sides of that rectangle lie on the perimeter of the rectangle ABCD. So the sum of the length and the width is half of 11. Let's now turn to the largest of the four rectangles. Similarly, um, the perimeter of that rectangle is 19, which is twice the sum of its length and width. So the bottom, the sum of the bottom side and the right side of this rectangle is half of 19, or 9, 9.5, and, and that also contributes to the perimeter of the rectangle ABCD. So right here we already notice that the top side of the smaller rectangle and the bottom side of the largest rectangle add up to the length of the rectangle ABCD. And the left side of the smaller, smallest rectangle and the right side of the largest rectangle add up to the width of the rectangle ABCD. So the red lines on our diagram at this point represent the sum of the length and the width of the rectangle ABCD, or in other words, one half of its perimeter. And since one half of the perimeter is 15, we can conclude that the perimeter of the entire rectangle ABCD is 30. Now we have to remind ourselves that the rectangle ABCD was cut into four smaller rectangles. We were given the perimeters of the three, and we were told that the fourth rectangle has the perimeter that's neither the largest nor the smallest of the four. So the only thing we have uh, left to do is to make sure that this is the case. We already looked at the two rectangles in the previous steps. Now let's look at the third one, the one that has the perimeter of 16. If it has the perimeter of 16, then the sum of its length and width is half of, of 16, which is 8. And that plus the half of the perimeter of the fourth rectangle should be equal half of the perimeter of ABCD, which we know is 15. So um, this gives us the ability to say that the half of the perimeter of the fourth rectangle is 7, therefore its perimeter is 14, which is neither greater than 16 nor less than 11. So the answer to our problem is 30.